Uh, hello everyone, uh, this is another video for IXL S1. Uh, in this video, we are going to determine whether the given graph or equation is linear or not. In other words, whether it's linear or non-linear. If you have a straight line, it is linear. If not, it is not. That's, that's how simple it is. So right here we have a straight line. So we would say this is linear. Uh, scroll down. I would submit this as my answer moving on to the next level uh this one here it is a curve this is not a straight line so this would be non-linear moving on to the next question or next level not a question another curve another non-linear function so i would say non-linear for this one moving on to the next one if you can draw a straight line connecting these points, let me show you. Uh, this one is going to be linear because I can do this. That's It's not as straight as it should be, but it is only because I don't know how to draw a straight line. That's, that's the reason, to be honest. Okay, uh, so this one would be linear as well. Uh, let's just get rid of this screen. I don't want to write on anything. Okay, this is linear. And moving on to the next level, okay, we have an equation instead of a graph. Uh, once again, I need mx plus b. That's, that's how lines look like when you write an equation. It is mx plus b. Uh, or it could also be, you can switch them and then write it as b plus mx. Let me just write this. I think I need to write this one down. So you can have an equation in the form of mx plus b. That's going to be a linear equation. Also, you can write B plus MX. That would make no difference at all. So right here, it is B plus MX. So it is still linear. So this would be linear. Let's move on to the next level. Just in case there's going to be... Like, okay, okay. I think this is... Uh, okay, that, that's, that's a simple one. So this right here... There's no x because the slope is 0. 0x, zero it's kind of invisible. So that's the only b you, you're seeing. So it would be, this would be linear. Uh, here is some kind of tricky examples that you might run into solving these questions. If you have 8 plus 10 to the power of x, that is not mx plus b. This would be nonlinear. I'll explain the reason in a moment. Or 3 over 5 plus 7, nonlinear. Uh, you might be asking, like, why they, they look like uh, MX plus B. No, they are not because the variable is in the exponent. It is not right next to the number. They are not multiplied. It is written as the exponent. That's why it is not going to be, neither one of these are going to be uh, linear. They are both nonlinear. So these could be the two examples that you can run into. Uh, just keep them in mind, please. Okay, that's, that's it for this one, S1. Uh, I'll see you in another video, guys.